was born and raised in Council Plus, Iowa. You know, if you're gonna make anybody mad, you probably don't wanna make someone from Council Plus too upset. Well, Council Bluffs is a blue collar railroad town. People are hard workers. Kind of a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, but good people. TCU quarterback Max Duggan, like his father before him, is a child of this working class town located on the grittier, supposed wrong side of the Missouri River. Omaha is bigger, Council Bluffs is on the Iowa side, it's not on the Nebraska side. Council Tucky, that's usually what it's referred to, but we know better. Max's mom and dad met at the University of South Dakota, where Deb was a star hurdler and Jim a star quarterback. They moved back to Council Bluffs and adopted a family ethos that fits their town. I'd say, you know what, just don't take any off anybody. Whether you're playing or in life, stand up for what you feel is right, and you'll never doubt yourself. What is the best piece of advice your dad ever gave you? You know, he always says, big talk, don't make a big man. You gotta put your nose down, go to work. Not everything is gonna be given to you. Max would come out here in the summer when we baled hay, probably since he was about a seventh or eighth grader. He would help pick up hay bales. They weighed anywhere from 65 to 85 pounds of bale. So I try to get some of the old linemen, you know, some of the other guys on the team to come out. It is funny because some of those kids would do it one time and then they wouldn't return. <laughs> you pick up a thousand bales of hay, you find out real fast physically how tough you are and more importantly, how mentally tough you are. It's a character builder for sure. Max played for his dad at Lewis Central High School and received scholarship offers from the best programs in the country. So we're back to work tomorrow. But Duggan chose TCU in 2018 and stayed at TCU even after a coaching change following the 2021 season. Sonny Dykes, also the son of a football coach, demoted the three-year starter to backup at the beginning of 2022. But Duggan stayed because, well, Council Bluffs kids don't quit. I wanted to be here when TC was winning, whether I was a starting quarterback or whether I was handing out Gatorade on the sidelines, I wanted to be here. I think that Council Bluffs, Iowa is kind of a no-nonsense town. Max is pretty indicative of representing Council Bluffs for sure. Max Duggan in at quarterback. He got put back in the starting role. And we're in control, close his out like great teams do. I guess the rest is history. Duggan with his legs, oh Duggan! There's a lot of Council Bluffs that comes out of him when he's playing, just not gonna give up. Hey, this is my quarterback right here, Max. Oh, it's awesome, man, I'm so proud of you. Max Duggan just said, give me the ball, I'm taking this over on the ground. I've had people come up to me in the grocery store or someplace and say, thanks, we've enjoyed following uh, Max on TV and kind of uh, put Council Bluffs on the map. I still go home and I do the same stuff with my same buddies in the same hometown. I just don't want to change. I want to be that same guy from Council Iowa that's proud to be from there. I recently asked Duggan about NIL deals, if he was interested in those, and he said, no, those really aren't anything that make me want to get involved with. In fact, he just said, I want to be the best college football player I can be, and if I do my job, it'll take care of itself financially at the NFL level. And Reese, Duggan recently declared for the NFL, but he says he's only focused on one thing, and one thing only, and that's trying to figure out a way to beat Michigan. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.